you can see in the background, I have the new Lamborghini Countach casting from Spedicolari, which I talk about how I don't like it in the Spedicolari video that will be out, I don't know when. I, I haven't decided. It'll probably be out after this video comes out. And the Hot Wheels uh, C8 here from ID. I also don't like this casting because they made it for like ID. So it's kind of like a track car and it's got the enlarged rear wheel and it looks really goofy. That's besides the point. They're really just here for comparison because I got these guys. The new Hot Wheels 143rd scale models. These have been a very hot topic in the Hot Wheels community, in the collecting sphere. I'm going to talk about them. Some specs though. These are Target exclusive. I did not find these in store. My local Target is bone dry. I got these online. They sold these online for a retail price on Target.com. I don't know if they're still available. The Countach might be sold out. This is a very popular one. This one, not as much. But I got them both because I like C8s and the Countach is, like I said, very popular. I'm going to take a look at them. Just kind of do a video on them, talk about them, whatnot. Yeah, we're going to start off with the 2023 Corvette Z06. Now, these pack the packaging is really cool because it's actually resealable. And this is, this is kind of one of the big selling points is that it's a clamshell blister, like what you see on RLC models, held together with tape. And what you can do is you can actually reseal this packaging later on. So if you, which is nice, you can so you, for both the carded and the loose collectors, you can. It's kind of the best of both worlds because you can open your cars without destroying the packaging, and then you can put them back in the packaging if you're a carded collector. So. It's pretty cool. The way it's held together is like this. You take out the clamshell. Oh, there's two pieces of tape holding it together. I did a lot more talking than I did cutting. It's pretty easy to just kind of get like a pair of scissors, just kind of run it through the seam and... And... Actually, I lost the seam on this one. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I just run it through the seam and go... And it's cut. Pretty, pretty simple. And now you take it apart. There's a big, actually it's a very nice cardboard uh, material. It actually feels really nice in hand. There it is. So these are numbered, by the way. This is number two. Number one's the Countach. If you want that, there you go. There's the renders on the back. And yeah, I'm probably gonna put these back in the package when I'm done. And then you take them out. Let me try to be as careful as I can like this and you have this plastic piece that goes kind of in there and let's take the model out all right oh my goodness this thing's heavy there's a bit of stuff on the side that's just going to come off so the elite 64 these are 25 dollars, which has been a very big turnoff for a lot of collectors because that is a lot of clams Especially when a lot of models in this same scale are much cheaper. Like I know you can get like some cheapo pullback models from Target or wherever your local CVS for like a fraction of that price, like six, six, seven dollars. And this is twenty five. But this is metal on metal, so this thing's heavy. The base is metal, so it's made in China. Um, so it's made in there. Very heavy metal on metal. You can actually see the brakes through the wheel, you can see the little brake calipers there in green. This isn't a very, it's like a yellowish green, almost like a lime green, or maybe like a bright yellow. It's got a metal flake in the paint. It looks really nice. Uh, Z06 on the side. So this is not the version that Hot Wheels did in 164 scale. Well, they've done two different C8s. They did the regular C8, they did the C8R, this is a Z06. So it's got a little bit different trim on it. Uh, the mirrors are separate pieces. Be careful not to break them off. They are silver on the... I don't even know if you can see that. They're silver on the back there. It has insert details for the taillights. C8 Z06 on the license plate. Hot Wheels on the top there instead of like California or something. You have the rear brake light. You have a spoiler here. You have the exhaust painted. The exhaust tips are painted. This side, same thing. You have some grill printing up front. You do have the headlight printing right there with a bit of a silver stripe with the Corvette badging. Is the interior detailed on this model? 
I don't know. Oh, it looks like the rear view mirror is its own piece. You kind of see that on the top. It's really hard to get the interior going there. Uh, yeah, there, there's, there's detail. There is a low, it's really hard, but there is a logo on the steering wheel and also the gauge cluster is done up in this interior. And there's also a little bit of motor detail. Very hard to see through the opaque plastic, but it is there. You can kind of see it there. Uh, this is pretty cool. I don't know if it's $25 cool, but overall, it is a nice model. And comparison, I don't know if these are exactly 143rd scale. I think they are. Here is the 164 scale model for comparison. There's the size. So the, obviously this is a regular C8. It's not a C8 uh, Z06, but there's kind of your size comparison. There's my finger. So quite a lot bigger and what i think this allows hot wheels to do is not only add more detail but to also get proportions a lot greater because we're gonna get to proportions in a little bit this one's nice though i do like the c8 z06 i like c8s had to pick that up but though the popular model yeah it's gonna be the Countach. um i i did my spectacular video i don't know when it'll be out like i said and I kind of talked about how disappointed I was with the Countach. I thought the casting wasn't done really well, especially in like modern day Hot Wheels where castings are typically very good. They can get castings really nailed. And then I thought the Countach was just a bit of a swing and a miss. It's a nice car, a nice looking car, but just I think with the execution of the die cast model, or at least the 164 version, I don't think it was as good. So we're gonna take a look at it. Packaging is really nice though. Just kind of being able to save it all and then maybe put it back in the package later. We'll see. I'm gonna be really careful here. Okay, this one's nice. This one's nice. This one's pretty nice, I will say. So the paint, there's actually little metal flakes in the paint. I don't know if, you get, if the camera is going to pick it up. There is small little metal flakes in here. You can get it in the light. Yeah, you can see it there. Look on the back corner, back right corner. You can kind of see it sparkle there. And the wheels are also accurate to the model. They're not just using generic real riders. Uh, you can also see the brakes through there. You have the little brake here on the side, which is actually plastic. Uh, you have the LP, it says LP500, or no, LP, what is this name? LPI800-4. Okay. That's awesome. There's the back. Now, the back is not inserted details. I think it's just way too small and complex, complex of a shape to do inserted rear taillights. So they are just printed on. That is fine. Exhaust tips are not painted in on this model though. The mirrors are once again, a separate piece. You can see the silver in the back there, barely if my camera will focus, which it kind of is not. You can see that there. There's the front with some other badging. You do get the inserted details for the headlights, which also have some other detail in there. They look really good. The interior is red and black. There's a bit of a break. You can actually see the black dashboard and the red interior. There's other details in there as well. A little hard to see. There's the top with the motor. A little bit of detail in that too. And uh, I'm gonna compare that some of the details on this to the Hot Wheels model. Uh, once again, metal on metal, very heavy. Something you'll notice though is that the Hot Wheels has got some extra details. You notice how the vents on the top there are blacked out on the Elite 64, or not the Elite 64, wrong line, the Hot Wheels 143rds, they are not blacked out. Same with these little side things here. And then this right here is kind of weird. Actually, that's a, another thing they did. They actually made like a, a space right through here. It's actually like a gap. It's not just like printed in or it actually goes back. So there, this is made of like diff, very, yeah, you can see, look, it's made it's made of multiple pieces of metal. That's what they can do with this $25 price point. They can put a lot more budget into these. Overall, you look at the Countach, you look at the 143rd, and you look at the, the 164, you can really see how much the 164 misses. There's the 143rd, looks really good. And the 164 just, it, it's like, it just, comes down too much and i think it sits a little too low and 
it, it just doesn't look right. This is proper. This is not. You know? So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about these uh, Elite 64? Elite 64, the 140 thirds. Um, I, I'm, I'm on the fence. I think they're cool. But I don't know if they're, they're worth getting. I'm not going to get every single one. I'm going to be very selective. I know there's a oh, there's an R34 coming out. That one's going to be quite a hot item. But knowing, I hope Hot Wheels keeps doing what they're doing and putting them online for Target.com. Like I said, that's how I got these was Target.com. They were selling them on there for retail price. So I just bought them and had them shipped to my house and I didn't have to go anywhere. I could just sit at home and do nothing. And uh, yeah, I have them. So I hope they make future sets available online. That'd be really cool. And I don't know. I mean, I think these are cool. I think these Elite 64 models are pretty cool. Not only, I keep, oh my gosh, I'm going to explode. I cannot, <laughs> I'm going to spontaneously combust from saying Elite 64 over and over and over and over again. The 140 thirds, I don't know if I can justify the price point of $25. That is a lot of clams to be dropping on Hot Wheels. I do think these are cool, but are they $25 cool? I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think these are worth $25? I don't know. Hot Wheels has never really, I mean, I think they used to dabble into larger scales, but it's been a long time since they have. There are other 143rd and beyond scale die cast manufacturers out there. I think larger scale die cast collecting is more popular like overseas in Europe, not really in the US. We're mostly about 164, sometimes 124. I know M2 does a lot of that. People go crazy over their chases and stuff. And there's also those like 124, are they 124, 118 scale models at like Costco every Christmas by Maisto. Those are really good. I get, I try and get a couple of those every year, but besides the point, how do you, how do you, how are we feeling about these? Do we like them? Do we not? Let me know in the comments. I think it's an interesting line. We'll see what happens with it. Still iffy on the price. It's a lot of money, but hey, that's all I gotta say. See ya.